Hey, beautiful souls of the divine. This is a pick a card reading, straight to the point. This is a message for you in this moment. Don't think too hard on it. Just pick a pile and it'll resonate. All right, let's start. Hey, pile one, let's look at what's happening for you right now. Knight of Swords, all right. So there's communication coming in for you. Let's see what kind of information or communication or message is coming in for you right now. Wow, 10 of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so for me, 10 of Pentacles in reverse means that something that's, that's life-changing, that can change your entire life for the better, but it might be not something you expected. So it fits in love, it could be someone you didn't expect to fall in love with or to come back into your life and message you. Um, you know, and it changes your life and they like end up being your best friend for the rest of your life. You know, it could be an ex that comes back and is, ends up being your long term friend, neighbor or something. They're moving back. You don't expect it. You don't think they're ever going to be back in your life, but they're your friend forever. It could be a lover that you don't expect to be with. They're not your usual type. Um, you could be moving somewhere you didn't expect that you'd be moving somewhere new or to this specific kind of location or this kind of, you know, um, area, you know, maybe you like the city more, you like to be more in nature, but it's like the opposite of what you thought you'd be living in. Um, okay. So let's get some clarification here. Seven of swords. Okay. So someone wants to tell you the truth about something or you're finding out the truth about a career or a living situation or something that's going to be in your life for a long time so you're finding something out whether it's from a person or just in general something that you've wanted a place you were thinking about moving to a career that you're thinking about going into a person you were thinking about dating or um, maybe you weren't thinking about any of these things at all but you're finding that like hey this might be good for me or like hey like now that I know more about this like I think I'm going to go in that direction or um yeah, so it's, it's a little bit of a surprise. Um, I would say it's a, it's a big surprise, actually. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> you have no, no clue about this at all. Like, I think it's one of those things that you've thought about maybe, like, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to move, or yeah, it'd be kind of cool to start dating someone, or maybe um, make a new friends, or, th you know, get into a new hobby, um, that, you know, one of those hobbies that you could stay with for, for a long time, um, do, do a, do a side gig, you know, make money on the side, doing something, um, something that would be in your life for a long time. You know, you thought about this or it's come up, but you don't really, you didn't really know if this person or this situation would be best for you. Maybe you checked it out. Maybe you've seen someone recently live this kind of lifestyle or, um, move to this area or try out this career and you're like hey i wonder how that fits on me uh, but you never really thought about it you didn't see it for yourself <laughs> but then an opportunity comes through a message or um it's one of those things where you just get like a deep gut feeling and it's like wow i can't believe i never thought about that before like that that's perfect for me so spirit is trying to say here for you um be on um, the lookout for something that might seem like not your thing at first, um, but then you find out that it might very much well be. Okay, yeah, this seems fun. So like, okay, like when this this idea comes through, you're like, all right, like how am I gonna make this work? It seems it's it's fun, you know. Like, how would I have? How would I be able to move there? When when should I? Um, you know, what would it be like to date someone like this or to marry someone like this or, you know, um, to be friends with someone like this or to go on this kind of adventure. Um, you're kind of uh, dispelling any um, negative connotations you had, any negative beliefs you had around this person, place, or thing. But I think this is, this is the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles, for me represents like um something that's in your life for a very long time 
um, that incorporates a lot of areas of your life. So I'm feeling it's like a whole like life change, you know, and it starts very gradually, like with just like the thought or a message or something, but then it really clicks with you. Um, and then you start thinking about all the ways that it could work, what it would be like. It's kind of fun um, thinking about it. Um, and at the same time, it kind of like, I can't believe that I thought this was such a hard thing before or that I wouldn't be able to do something like this or date someone like this or have this in my life. It very quickly becomes something that's doable. Wow, the full card, wow. So it's interesting because when the seven of swords popped out, I saw a lot of yellow and a person in reverse. I'm like, oh, was that the fool card in reverse? Because actually the second park pick a card reading has a fool in the reverse as its main card, its first card, which is the most important, holds the most energy over the reading. Um, wow, okay, so the fool card. My finger just twitched there. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm gonna look that up real quick. Okay, so the right middle finger um, is connected with Saturn. Um, it has to do with business, business people, money, responsibility, and integrity. This could be someone coming in with a business idea to help you out financially or they have some sort of project, investment. Um, this could be someone coming back that you have a child with and that wants to help out. It could be someone from the family that wants to help out in another way. Um, it could be like a sibling, parents or child coming for your help or wanting to help you or to help another member of the family or someone else. Um, it's not what you expected the fool again in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse you didn't expect this this is one of those like life things that are just kind of thrown at you and you kind of just go with the flow and make the best of the situation but in this case I feel like you know it's kind of at first it might be kind of like shocking like what's happening what happened wait what what's the situation what do I have to do and then it kind of just like it kind of realized that it could be actually a really really good life change for you like you might have been stuck in a rut and this is something that kind of propels you forward in a way that you couldn't have imagined it opens you up wow yeah um knight of cups yeah i i do find I, I do feel like this is something that like you find love in <laughs> um so whether it's like you didn't expect the situation you know a new neighbor moves in um, a new roommate moves in um, a new friend comes back whatever it is and then you didn't really see this and didn't expect it and then it turns into something um, in regards to love or friendship um, a pet wanders into your life a, you know a random cat or dog or something um, random business idea starts to ground itself and become an actual manifestation you know a hobby didn't you didn't think of maybe you, you move somewhere and then you pick up something that you end up doing for the rest of your life you know you start um, sewing crocheting playing a sport you know cooking whatever and it like kind of takes off I feel like you might do it with other people. You might get the idea from someone else. This is something that happens and then, you know, like a domino effect, it starts affecting other areas of your life. That's why this is a 10 of pentacles. Like it's like one thing that actually changes your entire life and it kind of just cut, starts to unfold um, like very organically. Um, wow. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is all the clarifying cards are in reverse so I feel like at first it, it's not clear <laughs> it's not clear to you what this is you might even if this is a romantic interest you're probably like oh yeah like you know we could just like uh be friends maybe we can just um I could just help them out here or you know 
maybe we can just do this one thing they can just help me out here whatever the situation is kind of like okay you know maybe maybe there isn't much much here little do you know like this is going to change your entire life so i'm just gonna clarify the knight of swords here wow the king of cups yeah it's and it fell right under the high priestess in reverse yeah it's some I, I feel like for a lot of you this is a person that comes in a person that that um introduces you to an idea a new place to live a new business um a group of people a community of people or something like that and at first like when they come in it just kind of surprises you and shocks you but not in a completely bad way but in a way that like you just didn't expect it and then you know as you learn more about it learn more about the truth of the situation um, which you didn't know before but your gut is telling you this is real this is this is right whatever this person is telling you whatever information you're finding out you're like this is true this is right this is what i should be doing this, this feels right for me the, the right path for me and then you kind of start to dispel any negative feelings and thoughts you had around this idea and I feel like it leads to more than one thing. So I do feel like for a lot of you, it does lead to love. You know, it could be a new job or a new location that you move to or new friends that you meet. And then you didn't you didn't expect to get something like this out of it. Um, um, a romantic love situation or, you know, a financial boost or a new hobby or business or side gig or completely new career or completely new lifestyle change or new cycle of your life but here it is so um that's very exciting pile number one um <laughs> i would love to know if this is something that you feel is coming towards you or if it does happen soon the next few days the next few weeks uh please make sure to check back and let me know i'd love that all right have a beautiful lovely day filled with pure positive divine light miracles and i wish you so much love light and peace Hey, pile number two, let's check out your card here. The Fool card in reverse. Wow. So this seems to be a sort of theme for right now. Whenever you're watching this. Some sort of new beginning. It's almost here. Not quite, but it's almost here. What does Spirit want you to know? Page of Pentacles in reverse all right i i don't think you're expecting to kind of start over maybe maybe you're thinking oh maybe i should just continue on with this whatever it is a relationship work a hobby um some sort of diet health routine um some sort of uh daily responsibility i feel like you you're not expecting to kind of give this up yeah, I think um, you th you realize how much effort it would be to kind of, you know, start again. <laughs> and so you're not willing to do what spirit feels is necessary to break through to the new cycle, to the new life, um, to a new adventure. So I feel like spirit is saying here strongly that The opportunities are there, or maybe there have been one or two opportunities for starting something new, and you may have looked past it because you didn't want to start over, or you felt like it would be starting all over, and all the work that you have done would be for would be for not for nothing. There's just too much you'd have to change around in your life, kind of figure out the logistics of to kind of stop what you're doing now. Okay, wow. The judgment card in reverse. I, f I feel like you're fusing to acknowledge how much you've already done maybe you've been doing a lot recently or you've gotten far 
with what you're doing now with the relationship job whatever it is you know where you're living um your daily life your daily routine at this time um i feel like spirit is saying please look back at, at, at how much you've already done in this situation because uh you deserve to feel good about yourself about all you put into this situation this person this place this thing wow <laughs> this is this is a little bit of a warning pile two that um, if you don't hear this warning, you know, spirit will, will have to do what they have to do to bring in change into your life. If you're refusing to change because you don't want to start over, it'd be too hard, you would have moved too many things around, that's not a good excuse for spirit. They won't take that excuse. They'll bring in a tower moment if they need to. But they're really, really asking you to kind of look back and review a lot of things in, in regards to this. You know, if it's a career situation, look at how much you've made, how much you've done with how much you've made. Did you save a lot? Did you spend a lot? Did you get into a good mindset of like, I have enough? Um, not letting yourself fall into the um, scarcity thinking. Um, did you do the best you could in every project at work? Did you talk to people, research things, grow as much as you can? Um, if it's a, and, and you know, like, in, on, if you've done all those things, you know, maybe, maybe you don't want to move from your location. That's why you don't want to change jobs and change careers but if you kind of look at all the aspects related to this situation for example the work one i gave you know if you just kind of go back and see the milestones you've had and all the accomplishments big and small you'll realize that it wasn't all for nothing you got so much out of it and maybe it's time to move on let it go or take the next step similar if it's a relationship um, maybe it's um, a, a good habit or a bad habit that's not really working out for you anymore maybe you need some change maybe you've been on a very very strict specific kind of diet and you recognize that your body is asking for something else or maybe that part of your life is over and it's okay to move on to something else you know it's done what it's supposed to do in your life and that's that's fine <laughs> it'll always be there in that period of time it might be a fear of changing who you are becoming who you really are this this pile two pages here I feel like there's an opportunity coming your way and it might seem a little out there you know if this is like a a person coming in they might seem like a fantasy they might seem like um they're just a dreamer, a romantic, and they're not real. They're just kind of in it for the short term, hopeless romantic, and you rather stay with what you know, stability and security, or your life as it is now, if you prefer being single, or feel like holding out for something better. You know, it could be a job opportunity that's like, well, how can I really go far in that in that line of work or that path? This is something a little bit <laughs> dreamy, and so you're a little suspicious of it. Well, if I go for this, then all the hard work, all the money I've saved, all the people that I've met, all the hours that I put in, you know, what is it going to be for? 
Um, I think spirit, for some of you, spirit just said very clearly in my mind, remember what you did and where you were when you had this opportunity for the first time, this job or this person, what it was like taking that risk, not knowing how it would turn out, and look how much you've done. So yeah, this could work out or it could not. But if you don't take that chance to change and improve yourself, um, you know, Spirit is saying, this is a little bit of a warning for this pile. Um, they'll invoke the tower energy um, if they need to. But they're saying that, you know, if you're watching this message, you're definitely someone who takes, who's very cautious, takes the proper precautions, is the kind of person that steps up and does the right thing. Look at these three major arcanas. This is, this is a moment for you to gain courage, confidence, um, and step up for yourself, right? It's like to prove it to yourself that like you are still this person like you were back then when you took this relationship on or this career on or this risk on, you know, not knowing what would happen. You're, you're still got that courage within you, that, that drive um, to go after something that seems a little... dreamy, fantastical, not sure how it would turn out kind of thing. Okay, so this fell on the tower. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Queen of Swords in reverse. No one's going to bat for you in this idea no one's going to tell you that's the right thing to do they might even actually tell you that you're crazy or maybe it's not a good idea you might even think that it's a little bit crazy and not a good idea and it comes in so quickly and, you know, I feel like this opportunity is kind of like, it'll be here one second, but maybe not the next. So you kind of have to make the decision pretty quickly, maybe in that moment or within, you know, by the end of the day or by the next day or something, next week. But I feel like it's something that, that um, is somewhat of a risk and you have a short period of time to make a decision. A little part of you is saying you're not worried because you've done it before. You've taken big risks or a big risk before and didn't know how things would turn out and you made something of yourself. You made something of the situation. Um, it worked out really well, so well that you kind of don't want to leave it for another kind of risk or situation or the next adventure or whatever. Complacency I'm getting. Spirit wants you to show yourself and the universe that you're not afraid to take risks, whether it's big or small, for the sake of improving yourself in your craft or your, your relationships. Yeah. I'm going to pull a clarifier for this fool card wow the ten of cups and it hit this two of pentacles in reverse this is um a, like a very straightforward message from spirit that i'm getting it's like well you can't have that dream if you don't try, do you? You can't have everything you want if you're not willing to risk everything, right? And and not that's not going to be for everyone. Like, you don't have to risk everything <laughs> always. But once in a while, taking risks is part of, part of being human, part of progressing, moving on, improving, growing, learning. 
but this is something you actually want this person place or thing opportunity situation you can't really have it if you don't go for it allow it to enter your life take the first action that's what happened when you did this situation right so prove it to yourself that you can do it again pretty sure for a lot of you it'll work out and if it's not this one then the next one but hey you're not worried about it you know yourself you're much stronger and you're capable of more to be honest all right i hope you have an incredible week pile number two hope you have a day filled with miracles i wish you a lot of love light and peace hey pile number three let's see what's going on for you this moment the hermit all right i feel like you know yourself a quite a bit now maybe you've had a sudden revelation recently more about yourself more about your depths and complex complexities realizing that you might not know everything about yourself but you know way more than you used to this is something you 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 get when you get this kind of clarity about yourself when you're alone and if you keep yourself too busy, listening to too much music, um, watching too much TV, hanging out with too many friends, and not allow that time for peace and quiet into yourself, you know, you, you could go out for nature walks. That's kind of a great distraction because you're just filled with all this greenery and sky and fresh air and just kind of water. Just all these natural elements kind of help you um, see the more natural, true self. But you can just easily just lay on your bed or couch or, you know, write, maybe listen to music, soft music or music without lyrics, just music that kind of brings you to that, that place, right? And then you'll start discovering things about yourself that, yeah. <laughs> Well, that you um, wouldn't have imagined and it goes through cycles too so you might have a little bit of more information about your childhood your relationship with your parents your relationship with your exes your relationship with money with your career with, with your body and then maybe a few weeks down the line a few months down the line a year later, two years later, a few years later, you get more and more information, you find more and more, find out more and more about yourself. And this like journey of self discovery, self mastery, some would call a spiritual journey, it's, um, the greatest experience you can have here. So, why not? So if you haven't had time to yourself, this is a reminder from spirit to kind of find that magic. It's within you. And I am guarantee you, you'll, you'll find that magic in your life. So if you've been having kind of a slump or, you know, kind of being closed off a little to yourself or feel like you're forced to be by yourself, um, there might be a good reason. And that good reason might just manifest soon might be right around the corner yeah wow well. if you don't give yourself time to yourself to reflect on you know you don't have to be super self-aware all the time or super self-reflective and dissect everything, analyze every little detail in your life. You know, you might start to do that in the beginning of your spiritual awakening or, you know, here and there when something big happens in your life or something traumatic or embarrassing or exciting. But sometimes if you're just in a slump, 
things are going slow you've you're in a long period of transition um, it seems like every day is melding together or it could be quite the opposite things are happening too fast too many things to do it's weird to say but sometimes these things are happening at once things seem like they're going too fast and too slow you could tell because they'll seem like time is going too fast and then time is speeding up all within the same day whatever it is uh i feel like spirit has forced you to take a time out to rest to heal to think um not everyone likes that and this message might be a bit triggering if you if you don't like that you like to if you got to be a busy body and you know, having a tough time quieting your mind or you know your body needs a, a rest but you're not, not giving it to it. <laughs> um, yeah. But if you don't, spirit will force a time out so they'll, they might make you sick. They might, you know, let, let you sprain your ankle, um, get, get a little tummy ache, you know, um, get feel overly exhausted to the point where you have to take a nap have to lay down this will happen to you if you don't take that time out your body will do it the universe will do it to you wow i feel like um you've been dealing with a really big decision in your life this could be about a career that you love a person that you love um, your beliefs, um, how you feel about yourself, your self-image, um, the people you surround yourself with. Um, I feel like that the one or more of these things are things that this pile is, has been kind of figuring out. And I feel like because of the Hermit, the Four Swords, for, for quite a while, maybe weeks, months. Um, oh. Hmm. This has been kind of a theme this time around. Like you, like you're kind of um, had the stable stability security and you're being forced to look at it with fresh eyes with new eyes a new perspective more than one perspective and it's kind of making you feel uncomfortable but you know on the other side that, that the divine and spirit is doing this universe is doing this so you can get to your highest and best life with it, with what you want in everything having only things you love around you the place, your home, the people what you do But it's a little bit of a struggle to kind of let go. Let go of things you have loved. For some of you, this is a person, place, or thing that you've been holding off for too long. And you know that you have to let it go. And if it's yours, it'll come back. For some of you, it's to kind of loosen the grip on people, places, or things that you love to kind of expand your life, expand your beliefs, what you know, your mind. But being that open-minded, it's kind of uncomfortable. Seeing things differently, it's uncomfortable. Seeing things the way maybe other people see it or just being open to new ideas. 
feel like you're being forced to look at it with fresh eyes and it's making you uncomfortable because you've been doing all right. You've had stability and security in what you have been doing. Um, but you know if you go through this, because obviously if the universe is kind of forcing you to take a time out and think, reflect, open your minds. We have the four to the eight of swords here. Open your mind, swords indicating thoughts, doubling in number. Open your mind. It's like kind of like, yeah, you've done a lot of work till now. But if you can just do a little bit more self-reflective work, go dig a little bit deeper, follow up with that situation with your parents or um, what happened last year, the, the, the ex, um, the, the health routine, um, the money situation, uh, the, the risk at your, your career, um, the, the move, um, people that's come in and out or whatever. Just, just push yourself a little bit more. It doesn't have to be extreme. Like, you know, I always feel like if you made one big realization or small in a day, that's, that's wonderful. It's great. You did so much that day. You might not have it again for a few months or something, a few weeks. You might have it the next day. You might have it for consecutive days for two weeks, and it might be overwhelming. But um, take it easy. Just uh, the best way to do this is to look back. Look back at stuff that you don't really like looking back on. Um, or you haven't had a chance to, maybe if you have a journal or something, maybe look back at text messages, emails that you wrote like a year ago and think about like, oh my goodness, this is what I was going through at that time. Like, oh my goodness, this, this, this is what's happening. Oh, something similar is happening now for me. Like, it's kind of like the cycle repeating or it happened, you know, within like, you know, six per six months at a time or every, every season or something. It's like, Kind of figure out the cycles in your life and where are you are going with this area of your life where have you been where do you want to go this is got this is spirit trying to help you to get to that highest and best life i'm not even kidding so when i looked up um the video was at 37 minutes and 37 seconds 37 37 and i was just and I Google, sometimes if I'm looking into a number that I've seen a lot, I like, you know, look at several articles and opinions and draw cards sometimes, like depending on how significant that number feels to me at this time. But this is kind of like for the reading. 37, 37, the first definition that came up. Uh, Spirit wants you to explore your deepest desires and bring them to reality. They want you to dig deep deep because that's the only oh, oh my god i didn't even realize i um <laughs> this ten of pentacles came up i went to go look up <laughs> 37 37 what do you really want i mean your biggest most fantastical dreams simplify it if you need to Go into detail if you need to. Break it down if you need to. You know, do what you need to do to think about what it is that you want. I, I, I do. I do this in several methods. So, um, one is to kind of just simplify things. Like, what is it that I actually want? Oh, okay. Like, I want, you know, um, this kind of home and um, this kind of the uh, partner. Uh, relationship with family, friends, community. Uh, I want to be able to do this kind of work and um, I want to be able to do to help people in this way. I want to be able to explore these interests and um, have time for this also. Um, I want to be healthy. Alright. I've tried this, this, and this. I didn't like it. 
I like these two things, something I want to try out this year. I want to keep up with this thing I've been doing. Maybe I can level up by, you know, going going a little bit harder next year, you know, putting on more miles or going further or higher, or whatever. It's just like break it down, simplify it. And um, if you really do know what you want and add in, add in details. You know, I, um, I, gotta, I gotta have, I gotta have a nice fast car. <laughs> I, I gotta have, I gotta have a garden. I gotta have room. I gotta have land for, for a garden, for, for a farm. Uh, you know, you just, you just gotta think, uh, more details than fruit trees. I would like, I'd like a whole land of fruit trees it's a dream you know it's a dream but <laughs> you gotta be in the right climate but a girl can dream um yeah so so dream fill in the details of what you gotta do not even kidding you here we got the magician um <laughs> spirit is literally saying that they want to manifest this for you they want to bring this in for you. They're ready to bring it in for you. So what's a few days off just thinking about things? Sometimes, sometimes it'll be very obvious, you know, um, like I'll not be feeling good and I'll be waking up, woken up in the middle of the night I can't go back to sleep because then I start thinking about that one thing that's bothering me. And I, I you know, I, I meditate a lot of emotion. So if I'm, if I'm feeling a strong emotion or somewhat strong emotion about something for quite a period of time, it's, it's something I got to figure out. Heal, purge, um, figure out. And then I find out, oh, I'm actually frustrated with the situation because of what's going on in my life here and I started to piece together the puzzle and then I solve it and it's not solved overnight but just knowing what this actual situation is helps me uh, figure out a solution and deal with it you know spiritual consultants like I can help you with that um, therapists, friends, family members, someone you can talk to. And uh, you can also kind of try to figure out yourself. Not everyone uh, is the best at self-therapy. Um, that's why there's people out there that are in this line of work. But um, yeah, it's worth it to sit down with yourself and figure out because spirit wants to bring in they want to bring in this life which is everything being surrounded about everything you like and love and are excited about and want to pursue and are is interesting to you all right i'm going to clarify this hermit card okay. kind of fell out before i could even shuffle it well but All right, the Five of Swords and the World card. Yeah, this is kind of like Spirit's kind of like, why are you fighting it? <laughs> like you might not, you might say that you don't want to do it now, and that's fine. You can wait a few weeks, a few months, but you can't wait forever. Only constant is change. I'm getting the sense of like your world will be turned upside down if you don't allow yourself to kind of think about this. You got the five, four to five. Like just take one step. Otherwise, it'll turn turn your world upside down. Why has spirit been so threatening this uh, whole read? It's not. It's not like really seriously. It's just kind of more like sass, kind of like a. You know what's gonna happen. You know what we're gonna have to do if you if you don't take the time out. It's like you know, it, most likely your body will get sick. Something in your world will be turned upside down in order for you 
to be forced to think about whatever this is. It could be your home living situation. It could be family I'm getting for a lot of you and it could revolve around um, a lover or doing something that you love that was denied to you before. Yeah. All right. Uh, pile number three. I hope you have a beautiful week. I hope you have a day filled with miracles. And I wish you so much love, light, and peace.